welcome back to my channel. My name is McPato and this is McPato PC. And today I'm bringing you guys a video comparing internet speed using three connection types. The first is going to be the uh, direct connection to my wireless router. The second is going to be Wi-Fi using my Dell Inspiron 15 7000 gaming laptop. And finally, the third, D-Link Powerline Adapters. Uh, these are rated for up to 500 megabits down. Uh, that is a theoretical number. I wouldn't expect that at all. But my internet connection is 60 megabits down, 10 megabits up. So I fully expect that it can handle the full speed of the connection. So any loss in speed would be as a result of using the you know, the power lines in the house uh, as opposed to Ethernet, you know, interference, distance, those kinds of things come into play. We're going to see how much they come into play and how much those same things would affect Wi-Fi. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know power line adapters, they are small devices that plug into your electrical socket. On the bottom, you have an Ethernet connection right there. And the little black button is used to pair the one at the source and the one where you want to connect your internet. Uh, so setup is very easy, takes less than two minutes and works very, very well. Uh, so this is a useful tool for anyone who either doesn't have the ability to use Wi-Fi or as this test may show, anyone who needs as fast a connection as possible and Wi-Fi is not cutting it. So, without further ado, we're going to jump in. Oh, just one more thing. Uh, my router that I'm using is a Linksys EA6900. And the, uh, the kit here is DHP-309AV. That comes with two adapters, two Ethernet cables in the box. And the laptop, again, is a Dell Inspiron 15 7000 Gaming. All right, guys, we're going to jump into the test, and I'll come back after with a summary. Okay, so here we are. We're going to start with the Wi-Fi speed test. And if you're not sure how to test your internet broadband or internet speed, basically just go to uh, your internet search engine of choice, type in internet speed test, and it'll bring up some options. I like this... Uh, speed test by Ukiya, the global broadband speed test, which is www.speedtest.net. That's my preferred tester. So we're going to click on that. Brings up this page here and really simple. All you need to do is hit the go button. So we're going to do that now. And keep in mind, this is a, uh, it's rated for 60 down, 10 up megabits per second. So we're going to see how close to that we can get with Wi-Fi. So not bad, 54.59 down. And looks like we will get our full 10 up. So overall, that's not, that's not terribly bad for Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, we're going to move on to the power line adapter next. So here we are, we're hooked up to our power line adapter and anyone who's unsure, that is the power line adapter there plugged into the wall electrical socket. The blue cable there is your ethernet cable, which you can see here is plugged into the laptop. And now we're going to run the test again and see if we improve or not. All right, so it looks like a small improvement already. Uh, yeah, pretty good improvement, actually. So it looks like we're going to get a full 10 megabits download faster using the power line adapter. And pretty similar uploads, looks like.
All right. So yeah, uploads are very similar, but we did manage a full 10 uh, megabits per second faster on the download. And I didn't mention with the Wi-Fi, uh, I was basically one floor above where my wireless router is, but there's basically no limitation as far as protocols. Um, this laptop, again, is new. It also was a Christmas gift last year. It's a Dell Inspiron 15 7000 Gaming. Uh, so it is capable of the latest uh, Wi-Fi speed protocols. And the router is also. So no limits on either end as far as what it's capable of. We're literally five feet away from where we did the Wi-Fi testing. So distance-wise, we're about the same distance, maybe five feet further from the router uh, versus the Wi-Fi. And we did manage... 10 megabits per second download faster. So here we are in the basement. We're now connected through a hard line connection direct to the modem. <clears throat> and we're going to see if we can improve on this 64.58 down, 11.56 up when we are directly connected. So we'll start the test here. All right, so already we're seeing an improvement, uh, considerably less of an improvement versus the Wi-Fi power line adapter comparison, but still an improvement. Uh, about four megabits down. And our uploads look like they're gonna be roughly the same. So yeah, pretty, pretty similar again for all three upload speed, but the download at 68.31 megabits per second is the fastest when connected directly. With that said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind losing the four megabits down for the convenience of the power line adapter. So we're done the testing. You guys saw the results, not really surprising to me. However, it is a little surprising how well the power line adapters did. I would, uh, I would fully expect, you know, these guys would have been around the 54 and the Wi-Fi would have been maybe the 40s, uh, but the Wi-Fi actually impressed me and the power line adapters impressed me more. So uh, whether those 15 megabits, or I think it was 10, 10 megabits between the Wi-Fi and the power line adapter whether those are worth it to you, only you, you would know. And again, that's based on a 60 megabit uh, down connected uh, internet plan from uh, Videotron where I live, but whoever you guys might be with. Uh, the uploads were very good, very consistent throughout the three different methods. So that was actually really impressive to see. Uh, I always think uploading is a little harder than downloading, but... Uh, Apparently any method that we used was just about the same. So uh, that's, that's good to know. If I'm somewhere with my laptop and I need to upload to YouTube a video, maybe uh, CES coming up, Computex, I don't know. I uh, hope to do one of those shows eventually, guys. Maybe not this next year, but coming up some point, that would be nice. But anyway, nice to know that I will get the full benefit of the upload speeds using my laptop and Wi-Fi, that's, that's good to know. Um, but, you know, 10 megabits could make a difference. If you had maybe uh, 100 megabit, 160, whatever speed, maybe those, those differences, those gaps would grow. I'm not sure. Um, but you guys have the numbers, you guys can make up your minds based on the information I've provided. Hopefully, hopefully you found the video interesting and I'm gonna link a video actually right now up in the corner here. If you guys are interested, I did it earlier. It's only got like 18 views I think in the last couple months. But what I did there is I used my laptop's Wi-Fi connection to connect my PlayStation 4 to the internet using an ethernet cable. So. The laptop gets the Wi-Fi signal, 
then you plug in an ethernet cable into your laptop and then into any device tv you know smart tv uh, console computer i actually use it for my desktop as well where i used to be at my uh, my family's before buying our house here so uh, there's some useful applications maybe you're at the cottage maybe you're at a hotel whatever and you can actually get really good speeds using your laptop's Wi-Fi and connect it to your device and that's called uh, internet bridge connection or connection bridge I don't remember the, the formatting there bridge connection or connection bridge but it works and it works really well so if you guys want to consider that as an option for temporary or you know if you're in college uh, maybe you just want to use your laptop and connect it to your PlayStation you don't have you don't have the money for power line adapters because you're buying textbooks and paying for higher education could be um, or at the cottage or you're at a friend's house or whatever so again that's gonna be up in the corner if you guys want to check that out go ahead it's uh, short video and it's pretty pretty good information very very easy it takes less than a minute to set up so if that interests you go ahead if you guys like this video please hit the like button and consider subscribing the support is is great guys I'm at uh, nearly 1500 subscribers now thank you YouTube thank you to everyone who watches my videos I appreciate the support and we'll be back soon with another video and until then Bye-bye.